Before the opening bell, U.S. indices closing higher on Thursday, lifted by shares in food and staples retailing, tech, hardware and equipment, and telecommunication services sectors. On the economic front, initial jobless claims rising to 249,000 in the week ended November 11th, while continuing claims declined to 1.86 million in the week ended November 4th. The Philadelphia Fed Business Outlook Index falling to 22.7 in November, industrial production rising by 0.9% month over month in October, while advancers beating the decliners, 76% of S&P 500 constituents, they traded higher yesterday. Now, after the markets closed, Ross stores unveiling third quarter EPS of 72 cents, beating expectations of 67 cents on sales of $3.33 billion. Moving on, we have Gap reporting third quarter adjusted EPS of 58 cents versus 51 cents last year on net sales of $3.84 billion. At the same time, Asian markets mostly up. The Nikkei up 0.2%, the Hang Seng up 0.62%, China's CSI 300 up 0.39 percent, while South Korea's Kospi closes out the week down 0.03 percent. European indices are mixed, and U.S. futures calling for a flat start to the session. In terms of expectations today, Foot Locker third quarter EPS seen at 80 cents, while Wynn Resorts fourth quarter EPS seen at $1.30, and Xerox fourth quarter EPS seen at 97 cents. Economic reports due out today, 8.30 in the morning. We have housing starts month over month for October, as well as building permits. While over in the markets, the S&P 500 sees the bias remain bullish, preferring long positions above 25.78. The Nasdaq seeing limited upside, preferring long positions above 63.23.50. And the Dow Jones sees a bullish bias above 23.375 while remaining in focus. Now, even though a continuation of the consolidation cannot be ruled out, the extent should be limited. Long positions above 23.375 are favored with targets at 23.465 and 23.495 in extension.